Good morning, people. You know, I wanted to title today's topic, and really what I want to do is piggyback this topic off of previous topics I've done uh, concerning professional environments and how employees in these professional environments decide to conduct themselves towards the customers, which in turn, uh, if it's negative, affects the business in general. And when these workers suffer with lower wages or cutbacks um, and certain things like that, then they don't understand why that's happening, but they are the bottom line, as I talked about that the other day. So today, the title of this, this discussion is gonna be The Ridiculousness of Conformity. And conformity is when you're trying to conform, obviously, but what are you conforming to? Sometimes when we're young and we're kids in school, we conform to uh, our peers. On the job, it's the same thing because these people haven't grown up and so they're the same people. And that's what I want to, what you guys understand. But speaking on that, and I'll go right to the point, you know, and I talk about these restaurant situations a lot because this is direct one-on-one -on -one interaction that we have with other humans. And sometimes we're peed enough, we're pissed off enough that we want to sock them at it. Sometimes we want to call a corporate office. We want to do something because that behavior promotes more violence. I've seen footage where people have actually gotten fight, fights in restaurants. Employees are fighting actual customers and stuff. And the customer may have come off disrespectful or the employee or both. And it created an argument which turned into a, a melee in the store and we had people arrested and just destroyed property and everything. And these are things that are obviously negative and they're childish and they're not productive to the business or to the person going to jail, right? Because they're going to have to do some things. Now, you know, I was at a store recently and I, I go to the store a lot and I talk to you. It's important to talk to you, you people about this because you may deal with these in the future times and you'll know how to how to adjust yourselves, you know, because you know you're dealing with a lower grounded person. So you're not going to make a big issue about something that you can't control. But anyway, I've been frequenting this place for a long time. I had this particular worker who was very nice to me normally when I come in. But on this particular day when I came in the restaurant, they had another co-worker with them who seemed to be bossy and seemed to have more uh, influence over them. So the reason why I know this is because normally when I come into the restaurant before I order something, the person greets me and they're very nice and, and uh, cordial. Today, I, when I came in to, to this particular restaurant, I witnessed the other coworker. Um, there was a guy who came in with me. The other coworker was very uh, rude to this person. They didn't greet him. They just said, what do you need, sir? And so she followed suit. This particular employee, this girl, she followed suit to the male uh, employee and just started treating me and other customers who were waiting to get an order, treating us very callously, slamming things on the table and just doing all types of unprofessional stuff. And I suspect because I had never seen this woman behave like this, it was due to her trying to conform, like I said, to her co-workers demands. And he may have had a particular mindset he felt about customers maybe he was annoyed that customers were coming not realizing that the customers have to buy something in order for you to get a paycheck and the corporate people don't see any of this stuff this is what i want you guys to understand corporate people out there i'm talking to you you have people who work for you who are derailing your business you just don't get it and it, and, and you guys are pretty smart that's why you have successful businesses but you're going to lose in the long run if you keep on uh, neglecting to pay attention to the type of people you bring in your establishment. I've seen this way too many times. You know, people just want to have a shitty day. I told you guys a while back about that time when the lady sneezed all over my, my food in the store and tried to sell it to me and I had to switch out everything and we got into a little uh, confrontation because she wanted me to take this, the items that she coughed all over. And that, that's ridiculous. You know, and that's what I talk about when you talk about low grounded people who want to, in a lot of cases, these are narcissistic people who want to play games and use the job for a vehicle to, to, to harm someone, you know, coughing someone's food. You're having a bad day. You're making food for someone. So you decide to cough and hack over the food since you had to come to work for the day. And since your boss wouldn't let you have the day off, you decide that you're going to punish 
unsuspecting people who have nothing to do with the situation. You're low grounded, you're low functioning, you're BR, and you're downright trifling. And you know, the trifeness of it, of it all is why you will have the gall because you know that if you went somewhere, you would want to have the best customer service. You wouldn't want people to contaminate your food and so forth. And this, and you know, and this, this plays out into any scenario. It doesn't have to be a restaurant, but I'm tired of seeing these people. And there's so many of them, you know, I'm thinking who's hiring these people. You're unprofessional, you know, but this lady literally treated me like crap. And everyone who came in, she treated them like crap. Now, I suspect on another day, because so many people suffer from bipolar disorder, on another day, she'll be fucking peachy. And she'll have all smiles and be pleasant and, you know, whatever, if that guy's not around. But that guy, hey, guy, you're the fucking problem. I just want you to understand that, right? It's the, your attitude towards life and other people is the reason why you're in the place you're in. If you're in a bad rut in your mind and you don't feel like you're getting ahead in life, you put yourself there. It's no one else's fault. That's just something I need to let you know. Now, what you people need to do, as I'll get right to, to the, the helpful things about this, you people need to make sure that you control yourself. Practice great restraint. And, you know, because we're, really you don't want to escalate the situation any further. If you need to resolve a problem, customer, I mean, uh, uh, corporate can take care of that for you. In most cases, they want to see you come back as a customer and they'll override the low level person that they put in place. Right. In some cases, they'll go look into it and that person may be dismissed or something. But it just depends. So too many low graded people are out here in the world doing whatever they want to do. Right. And then when we have situations, we're looking at the news trying to figure out how did this go down? How did this go down in that, that particular environment? That's how it went down, people. You know, I know for a fact since a young man, when I had my first jobs and stuff out here in the world trying to, you know, save up some money or something, I know for a fact that I did not, I've never treated people callously. And it really was not about really what the job demanded. It was just about me as a person being grounded and, and respecting the fact that these are other people and you do unto others as you will have them do unto you. It's really that simple, folks. And if you can't grab that, then you need to, you need to try again. You know? Don't curse people out, though. Don't curse people out because you're not going to get it resolved the way you want if you create more of a conflict. So what you want to do is just be nice, be cool, take down facts, get names, numbers times shift times and so forth and then you can go to corporate and report that because you're not necessarily being a snitch which is another dumb thing i'll talk about in another video because you people are like fucking children this is about doing the right thing all right all right so i'm gonna give me another cup of coffee and get back to my day i want you folks to have a good day i hope you don't have to deal with some of the stuff i deal with when i'm going in these places you know a morning cup of coffee does a lot and to have someone ruin that first cup with their bullshit oh geez i hate a morning like that uh like the videos share them folks and i'm loving these new subscriptions you folks have a great one take care oh i love bad behavior i don't love duplicitous professional or unprofessional people right i probably won't come back in that store again to which if I ever do, you know, when, when hell freezes over, but when if I ever do, I would appreciate the type of courtesy that should be afforded to a customer who's willing to spend their money and patronize your business. Till we talk again, folks, y'all have a great one.